Regarding the attacks on the royal family, Meghan Markle thinks she and Prince Harry went too far. You think? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm happy to announce our new Royals channel is live. Woo! We got monetized. Just posted a new video a few minutes ago. If you didn't click it, what are you waiting for? Yes, we're still going to post a few Royals here and there, but it's going to start phasing over to this new channel. In fact, we're going to be live talking about Britney's book, Corey's fundraiser, and so much more. But I wanted to give you a little bit more royalty because I know a lot of you guys love it. And yes, you're going to get it all the time. Plenty more coming. Trust me, we actually have some fun st stuff developed. So go hit the subscribe here and there. Stay tuned to the whole universe as we expand. Uh, but you're going to want to see this one about Megan's acting career. It's a, it's a doozy. But this one I thought was fascinating for here because I think uh, a lot of you agree, whether you love or hate Megan, most of you hate her, I know, and Prince Harry, uh, she went too far. I think a lot of us can agree. It's like too much. Harry and Megan went too much with the book deal, stuff we know. But it's kind of interesting to hear her sources say, talk about this and admit it that she's like, damn, I, I wish she really would come forward and give this interview because I think it would almost probably wouldn't be good for the Royals channel because it would not <laughs> stop a lot of this happening. But uh, I believe this to an extent because she did. But then I'm like, do I believe this? Is she capable of acknowledging this type of thing? And I don't think she is. I'm curious what you guys think. Let's see what this source is saying. Well, now Meghan Markle is coming in today. Meghan Markle is now said to be taking a step back, focusing on getting her brand back on track. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry know they went too far with royal tax. A royal expert claimed as the couple work on rebrand, rebuilding their brand after struggling to keep it reputable, following all the allegations made against the royal family and in the ending of their lucrative deal with Spotify, which is a big deal to lose. Uh, in the docuseries, they obviously made all the allegations against the royal family, especially William. Meghan now is said to be taking a step back and focusing on getting her brand back. Royal biographer Tom Bauer told OK. The pair will find it hard to keep their brand reputable following the collapse of a major deal. They are beginning to taste the medicine that they handed out during the Oprah Winter Infrey uh, interview. They're finding it very, very hard to keep their brand reputable. They're constantly having to defend themselves and they're grasping for opportunities that don't exist anymore. All she's got is the baggage of the Oprah Winfrey interview and her damnation of the royal family in various successive interviews. That's why she's been so quiet the whole year. She knows they've probably gone too far and she doesn't know how to get out of it now. What's fascinating is how it will end. What will be the climax? Uh, yeah, I think that's why we're all here. And that's why this channel has been launched over there. So we can really delve into this and more of the, uh, gossip and rumors and tea, the royalty as it happens. So now, uh, they're working on solo projects and Megan is looking into new brand partnerships while Harry works on, uh, I guess he's trying to pitch some Africa project to Netflix, which would not involve Megan. It seems even he's re re realizing all right, Megan, you go do thing. I think I'll do mine. Couple signed the deal with Spotify in 2020. Obviously, we know that. Uh, Megan spoke about her time as a working member of the Royal, claiming that she was forced to carry on with public appearance after a fire in her son, Prince uh, Archie's nursery. Uh, was he okay? Then, okay. You got a lot of help. He's okay. Go do what you got to do. Wow. Must be so tough to be a working Royal. Ugh. I just want to never work and be with my kids all day and just complain about you guys. <laughs> it's so hard being Meghan Markle. I don't want to work. What do I have to work? Uh, yes, and apparently Prince Harry is working on the Africa show, which I told you. But yeah, so that's that's the latest. Now, yeah, yeah, I mean, the source is not off in their comments, right? I do I do think they have some valuable feedback here that they're saying. But do you think Megan is capable of, you know, this much self-reflection? She might see we went too far in that, like, oh, I guess we shouldn't have done that much because it hasn't helped. But do you think she's ever going to be able to take accountability for their actions or is she going to constantly play victim? Oh. That, that that Oprah Winfrey interview was shocking. Because, look, I bought it for a minute. I felt bad for them. I did. 
And if they had just done that and left, walked away, it would have been fine. But they sold all these deals, and then they Harry did so many interviews promoting the book, which then also came out with the Netflix series. And then Harry, don't forget, did that Oprah Winfrey inter, uh, series about bullying and everything else, and mental health. And then it, Megan's constantly talking about it during her stuff. There's just not much else they can talk about. And uh, it seems like people are fed up. And in fact, a new British popularity poll, uh, this was published uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, but <laughs> it shows that she's uh, at a new low. Survey uh, by Global Public Opinion Data Company, YouGov, in Britain between June 7 and 8th found that the Duchess's net positivity rank ranking stands at negative 47%. This is down six points from April. So, yeah, I think we've talked about this. This is not a good look. All of this is piling in, and it's not helping the plan at all. So, plus, let's not forget, Harry's facing really a lot of high stakes, as this article says, in the, uh, you know, deportation case, which is still happening. This is another story we're going to be covering in great detail over on the Royals channel because imagine, I mean, we'll have to be covering here too if he loses. Uh, if they deport Prince Harry. <laughs> and what's crazy is they could. Me and Christopher Meltron, I don't know if you guys watched that video, but you should. He lost it. He's like, oh, I'm so sick of these two. You're right. You, why just be honest on the papers? Be honest on the papers. These two can't be honest. I just, I don't know anymore. And then it's like, are they really in love? I imagine this is causing stress. And, and again, there's so much here to talk about. We are going to talk about it. What would even, how could you even divorce a royal? I, I have so many things we're going to talk about over there. So I want you to come hit the subscribe and uh, join us over on the Royals channel as we break all this down. But what I, I'm fascinated by the, the state of these shoes. Now, granted, they haven't really said anything themselves publicly for a while, which I applaud. Good on them. But they still seem to have sources that come out and speak for them. And we're just awaiting the big news and big moment and big reveal of Megan doing something. The TIG, uh, acting opportunity. Uh, there's a lot on the line for these two. So, yes, we are paying close attention. And uh, the truth is she did go too far. I, do you disagree? Do you think... She didn't. I want to hear your comments down below. Also, before you get there, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all alerts so you get notified here on Popcorn Planet because, yes, we have other stories coming. In fact, we're going to be live uh, in a couple hours over there around 4 o'clock-ish, 4 or 4.30. We'll be live talking about Britney's book, Corey's GoFundMe. Make sure you guys, please, in fact, I'm going to say it here too, going over to the GoFundMe. My God, you guys blew it away. We had this happen yesterday, and we had... um. Uh, it just started zero. Steph and I donated immediately and then spread the word to you guys. And within three hours, we hit the goal. And I wanted to hit 20,000, not 15. I was like, let's go above and beyond. Let's hit it to 20. And then over the over the evening and just how long it's been, less than a day, they've already almost crossed $35,000. And honestly, please keep it, keep it coming. This family's had to deal with the unimaginable. So other good things, important things to talk about, which we will. Johnny even responded. We're going to talk about that in the live. So, so much more things to talk about. And yes, you'll be able to get your royalty fix over on the Royals channel. It's the best of both worlds. That's how I look at it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do you think Megan's realizing she went too far? I really want to hear your thoughts, and I may show them over on the other channel. So please leave some comments. Leave some engagement. Go click on the video. It's over here, right there, and click on this morning's video. Jamie Foxx, is it a body double? So much for you to watch here on Popcorn Planet. And we'll be live at 4 p.m. Eastern.